Hello Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at your situation with you and your person in mind. Remember that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with everyone. But you can always take a look at your other placements. You may find some messages there for you. And uh, if you're interested, it's all there for you guys. If you're interested in a personal reading, all the information will be listed in the description box below for you. Okay. So I'm seeing that in your recent past, you have come across a soulmate connection, a soul connection. There's a partnership agreement or soul contract here. So if this hasn't happened, this could be passing you within the next two weeks. So I see that when it comes to you and this person, you and this person have loved each other for a very long time now. So for some of you, this is someone who's been in your life for a long time already or um in a spiritual sense, you guys have loved each other for a very long time here because this is a soulmate, soul connection, partnership agreement, and soul contract to come back around for this time. So Ten of Cups, it looks like the beginning of something long term here, but I am getting that um, there's been a situation where somebody's been uh, struggling, feeling left out, or not really speaking too much, or having struggles when it comes to finances. So somebody is trying to go with the flow and trying to um, maintain a connection here, but is starting to lose some hope in this situation. So I get that someone wants to be in harmony, um, wanting to find balance, and wanting to... Um, come together and wanting to make some sort of compromise towards something long term. So between you and this person here, it definitely looks like um, this is a very like a special connection that you guys have with the temperance and the ten of cups here. So uh, this can also be a, a reconciliation, reuniting with a soulmate into your life here after feeling left out in the cold, ignored, or having being in a period of, of struggle, struggling through um, a situation and feeling alone. So I see that there's someone in your energy who has um, not been totally true to their own feelings. There's been denial, there's been masks, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. So I see that there is this person here who has not been showing their true feelings towards you. And I see them coming forward and communicating, getting this off their chest. So, wow, this person, um, we have the Queen of Cups. So this person really, really cares about you very deeply. And um, you're not going to get the Queen of Cups if that wasn't true. So I definitely see that this person is coming in. There's a text message or call. There's fast communication, back and forth communication with this Eight of Wands. So this person is now feeling like a sudden um, urge to, to tell you this, to communicate, and to try to win you over here. So this person is determined and they're going to go after this. This person wants to reconcile or they're wanting to find a balance here within within this situation. So this person wants things to be equal. They want things to be balanced and mutually um, respectful between the both of you. And this person is wanting to make amends or wanting to uh, have a peaceful resolution here, wanting to be in harmony with you. So they're very um, ready to make some movements. I see forward movement, and especially with this Eight of Wands here, traveling to come see you, um, making, making, taking action. So this person is now going to be taking action very soon. In fact, check your phone right now and let me know in the description down below because this is very fast moving energy. But um, maybe for some of you it's already happened. This person has communicated, um, wanting to 
reconcile wanting to heal things as well so this person wants to heal things with you because they love you a lot they're very serious about you um they are wanting you to listen to them because they are getting this off their chest that they haven't uh, told you about before because this person has loved you for a very long time now with that ten of cups in the recent past so they have loved you for a long time and um, they're coming out now with their true feelings because I, I see that this person is wondering if maybe you are feeling the same way as them and in your energy we have a coffee cup meeting conversing savoring the moment Feeling uplifted and friendship. So you're the one that has been feeling like you've been left out in the cold and you've been ignored in the situation or you're feeling like this situation has been a struggle. It's, um, um, you haven't been feeling totally, uh, hopeful for this situation here, hopeful for things to become, um, more here, but I see that you're trying to manifest uh, you're trying to manifest an offer, so I'm seeing like there's a love spell. Someone's doing love, like love spells, but I see that you're very determined, regardless, to try to um, win this person. And I do see that um, there's this very powerful energy around you, surrounding you, especially with the magician here, where things are becoming. Um, where there's a creating of a deeper sense of commitment or love. So I definitely am getting that you have felt like you've been rejected by this person. For some of you, you've been put in the friend zone with this coffee cup. So there's friendship here. I do feel like you guys have been friends for a long time. So I, I get that um, you have possibly been, been friend zoned or you felt rejected by this person or you're feeling rejected by this person you're not feeling too hopeful about the future you're not feeling too hopeful about this situation and you're not feeling like you are the winner here or you're getting the person that you're desiring uh, but I see that with this magician there is a deeper there is a, a deeper commitment or that is coming in here something is becoming more and I do see that there's a love call so look at that we have love call someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know especially with that eight of wands so it, it's coming from your person from what I'm seeing it's coming from your person they are thinking about you and they want to let you know they want to express things because they have not been honest with you and I, I'm getting that it's coming from a place of like um, fears of, of ruining a already strong relationship between you guys. So they're now starting to take off this mask and I see that they are um, moving really fast especially with that knight of wands energy so this to me is also travel so this person is going to travel to see you um to have a face-to-face -face conversation as well uh calling you in order to to have that face-to-face -face. so the signs that i'm seeing so far is leo aries sagittarius pisces cancer scorpio and capricorn virgo taurus so i do uh, i do see that there's some excitement that is coming towards you with this Wheel of Fortune. Someone wants to make some changes. This is fated. This is destined to happen. So I do see that there is um, some changes coming in with this Knight of Wands here. This person's coming in very passionate and uh, very, very... Uh, fast moving so i definitely see that there is a, a leap of faith that is being taken with this full energy here there's some very fast changes so everything is going to change when this person tells you how they feel everything is changing with this wheel of fortune things are taking a turn because i'm also getting that um this is really going to like blow your mind because you've been really um doubting the situation 
uh, struggling and not seeing the hope in it, not seeing that things can move anywhere because I get that you've been rejected or this person has rejected you before, but now they're coming around here and I, I see them wanting to uh, let you know exactly what they're thinking. They have a lot to tell you. So this is the type of energy that I'm getting from them. It's like uh, they have a lot to tell you, a lot that's been on their mind and um, a lot that they're feeling passionate about. So things are, are changing very, very fast, very, very soon for you guys. But you're also just focusing on yourself, your self-worth, taking the time to heal, shadow work and self-appreciation. But this person is coming back to change things, to have an, uh, a new beginning or to have another chance with judgment in your outcome. So I see you doing a lot of reflection um, taking time to heal and a lot of introspection looking back at the situation and also doing some shadow work on yourself because I see that for some of you you may have like abandonment issues uh, which is something that can come up from childhood so a uh, shadow work um, focusing on yourself your self-work taking time to heal and self-appreciation with this judgment I'm seeing that there's like a call I definitely get like there's a call that's coming in for you guys um, and I see you moving on towards a whole new chapter in your life, a whole new destination, sudden, sudden changes with this, sh with this tower. So it's, you're really going to be shocked. It's going to be a total shock and uh, this is, uh, your face is priceless. Like look at her face. She's in shock, but it, these are changes that are coming in that are meant to happen in order to open up your eyes, in order to look at the situation from a different perspective, to get you moving because otherwise you wouldn't have moved or you would have stayed in the same situation or the situation between you and your person wouldn't have moved um, if this communication or this tower moment didn't happen. So I, I definitely am seeing that I'm getting like goosebumps just thinking about this, but I, I see with the judgment, there's a final decision that you're making here when it comes to leaving the past and uh, leaving the turbulent waters in the past, rocky waters and moving towards uh, a calmer place and moving towards your happiness here with your true love. So I... I'm seeing that this is someone who you've loved for a very long time, who has loved you for also a very long time. This person has always wanted you, and you or this person could be a young female or someone who's young at heart. And we have a young male, so I feel like you guys could be around the same age. Um, somebody could have a sports car. And we have open relationships, so I kind of get the sense that when this person comes around, your things are going to kind of be up in the air because it's like, where do we go from here with that Knight of Wands energy? So I am getting that this could be a childhood friend, somebody who you've known from childhood, or maybe you or this person has children. But um, I definitely see that there's reflection happening from something that has to do with the past from childhood um, with you guys here. So let's get a few more cards before I close off this reading. I just saw 333. So growth in a positive direction for you guys. Teamwork coming together to make something to work things out. We have let go. So there's something that you're letting go right now. Um, I, I kind of get the sense that um, you have tried to let go of this person. And now just as you're letting go, as, as you're like focusing on yourself um, and moving on, I see this person rushing in. And we have a peaceful resolution. So somebody's wanting to have a, a peaceful uh, new beginning here within the next few weeks. Okay, so this is what I'm getting for you guys. If you like this reading, please comment, like, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. Let me know if it resonated and I hope that you found some guidance or clarity in your situation and thank you for watching. Bye.